Hey guys, so I am here today to do a cleaning video. I'm going to be cleaning our master bathroom. As you can see, it is pretty messy right now. The counters are dirty, the bathtub is dirty, the floors, the whole nine. So it's time to clean it. Some of the products that I use in our bathroom are the Method products. I'm not like 100% sold, but I have the foaming one, and this one is the antibacterial cleaner. Um, they both work all right. Sometimes I think that Lysol is better, but you know, we'll see. I start off by cleaning off the counters. I'll take everything off and put it away. It's amazing how much stuff just builds up on your counter through the week. No matter what counter we're talking about, your kitchen counter, your bathroom counters, your island counters, everything just piles up. So I'll take the antibacterial cleaner to do the counters and the sink and all the handles in the bathroom. I move everything over to one side, clean off that side, make sure to wipe it down really good, get all of the little corners around the sink, some of the handles, just wipe it all down. As I put things away back onto their side, I wipe them off, all the dust and stuff. Then I'll move this stuff from the other side over to the clean side and repeat the process over there. Can you tell that my side is the left side and that Rob's is the right? Here I thought one of the girls had woken up so I had to run and check the monitor, but thankfully they were still sleeping. So again I'll spray the sink, the side, the counter. I probably should have just unplugged the uh, buzzer, but I didn't. <laughs> So once everything is all cleaned off, I'll put everything back again, wipe it down, wipe off the handles again, and around the sink. I'll usually wait to clean the inside of the sink until I'm done. I like to let the cleaner sit in there for a while. Now, my least favorite part, and I'm sure everybody's least favorite part, is the toilet. I'll use the foaming cleaner for the toilet and I spray the inside, the bottom of the ring, the top. That is from, those are not like stains on the toilet seat, <laughs> it's scratches from our dog we had. We had to put him down a couple months ago but he always loved to drink from the toilet so his nail scraped it up. When I clean the toilet I'll start from the top and work my way down because I feel like if you start on the inside you're just spreading the germs from the toilet around. So I wipe the top, the handle, the top of the lid, the inside of the lid, the top of the seat, underneath the seat, and then work my way all the way down to the bottom of the toilet. You gotta make sure you get all the way around the bottom of the toilet. So gross. I hate toilets. <laughs> then with the cleaner that's already in the toilet, I make sure that I brush it out really good, make it nice and like sudsy since it is a foaming cleaner. It does get pretty bubbly. So I'll just scrub that around for a while. And I'll use the toilet paper to wipe off any of the stuff that, you know, bumped up while I was cleaning, flush the toilet, and then let the rest of the cleaner sit. We always seem to have extra toilet paper hanging out on the side of the toilet, so I'll put that away. Now it's time to clean the shower. I start by taking everything out of the shower. We have lots of stuff in there. I'll use the foaming cleaner again. Just spray the whole shower down from top to bottom, the whole thing. Make sure to get it all nice and covered. I usually turn the water on as 
hot as it'll go as I clean and I plug the drain so that way the cleaner builds up on the bottom and I just feel like it helps get the bottom of the tub a little bit cleaner. And I use a sponge and I just scrub the cleaner all into the walls, all over. I'm sure you guys know how to clean a shower by now, right? <laughs> if you're watching this video. that I've scrubbed the whole shower I'm going to work on the bottom and I let the drain down here so the water starts to go down and we used to have a spraying shower head like the detachable kind but we for some reason got a different one and now it does make it difficult when I clean the shower because I can't detach the shower head to spray it off <laughs> so I kind of just rinse off a sponge and splash it up oops Got a little blurry there for a second. And I just rinse it off with the water from the bottom. Clean it all, make sure all of the soap scum is gone. Now I have to shake my feet off because the towel's not on the bottom of the rug. I mean, the rug's not on the bottom of the floor. <laughs> it's time to clean the floor. I'm going to use the foaming cleaner again and spray the floor down. Sometimes I use the mop but it was all the way downstairs and I just wanted to finish this up so I'm cleaning the floor by hand. So I just keep spraying and wiping it up. The thing I do like about the Method Cleaners is that this foaming one that I'm using here really smells nice. It's like very fresh and clean smelling, but the antibacterial one, that one is like a spearmint scent. Really, it's not my favorite. It kind of smells like menthol cigarettes to me, which is weird, I know, but for me, that's what it smells like. So it's kind of gross. So here I just Keep spraying and wiping up all of the floor, get all of the hair off the floor, my hair and Rob's beard hair, you know, from shaving. I feel like guys leave more hair around than girls sometimes. have any other cleaners that you like for your bathroom well let me know because I'm always on the hunt for something better to clean with. Now just spread the mat back out on the floor, pull the shower curtain, put the garbage back where it belongs, the scale. There you go. Okay, so here you can see the bathroom is all clean. It's just a quick once over. Everything is back where it belongs and ready for use. That is pretty much how I clean whoa, my bathroom. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!